What is up, YouTube? It's Anthony. Awesome does my suppressor. We got another commentary for you guys. And I got some BC gameplay for you guys. But in this commentary, I kind of wanted to let you guys know that I wanted to make this video for quite a long time now. And that is how to become a YouTube or gaming commentator on YouTube. Um, I want to create this video because I wish I kind of watched a video like this back before I started because. Um, back before I started, I had plenty of thoughts running through my mind, because, uh, not gonna lie, it was actually pretty scary thinking about, you know, actually getting the YouTube, uploading my own content, and, you know, just, you know, putting myself out there. So, I'll try to help you guys out. Um, this will mostly appeal to people who want to get into, uh, not just YouTube alone, but mainly focus on, you know, becoming a game commentator. So, I will try to talk about... As much as I can in this video, I'm not sure to make this a maybe two, three part. I'll try to keep it a two part video, but I want to create this video just to help you guys out. So, what is going on in your mind when you're thinking about becoming a YouTube commentator? Um, you know, at first you're going to think, you know what, it sounds pretty fun, you know. Uh, putting your content out there, uh, showing off your, your bad skills on uh, your games, or not even just about your skills, but you know, also talking about your thoughts and opinions and you know spreading your word out there and also you know basically you can also talk about your love for video games or you know express um your like uh your thoughts when let, let's say you want to do some playthroughs or maybe you know share some uh, minecraft footage and show your awesome creations and whatnot um so i'm not trying to just appeal to call of duty either um we should be able to share whatever gaming content you want but uh, since I'm familiar with Call of Duty, many people are, and also I do have a, a love and passion for Call of Duty. I'm um, honestly, I'm mostly a, a Call of Duty uh, commentator, but you know, if I do, you know, switch it over to different games, I will obviously, you know, create some videos and share that on here. But uh, all right, well, let's get started. Um, so I'm gonna say this now. Um, even though I would say there is a standard when it comes to, uh, quality, uh, video quality, I should say, or display on YouTube, um, most people, they're expecting, uh, you know, seven at least 720p, I'm assuming, and, you know, that, that's high quality nowadays, you know, 2015, but, you know what, you know, most of you, most of you guys who are watching right now, you guys are probably, I would say, in your pre-teens, uh, maybe a teenager, so um, most of you guys might not have a job, and you know, it might seem expensive to you, but everyone has started it out at one point or another. Uh, for me, um, I'll be honest with you guys, I had a really shitty uh, capture card, It's I used to use something called a Hava, which is something you guys probably never even heard of, and you know, it had really bad quality. Um, you know, the file size were huge, and the display was just, you know, horrendous, you know. And I had a really shitty mic to commentate with. Um, one of my first commentaries I've ever posted on my channel, which is unlisted right now. Um, I might refer back to it one day, maybe have a reaction video, but for now, I'm gonna leave it unlisted because it was that bad, but it had a lot of views, which is surprising, but, um, you know, shitty ass. Uh, video quality and really bad microphone. Um, I remember I had like a two or three dollar mic I bought on Amazon, and it's what I had to use. And um, since I did not have a job, I did not have a lot of money, and basically I used you know what I had you know in store. Um, some people I know like uh, White Boy Chemistry. I remember he started out and he recorded his gameplay using a tripod or you know, at least you know a basic. A video camera and just point at his TV screen. Um, he didn't have much money either at the time, and basically he grew, and now he can afford, you know, you know, the cost of living and basically the gear he uses now. Um, I'm just saying, guys, you don't need the best video quality. Like, let's say you have some like a really nice personality, or you're really funny. Like, you never know, people will appeal to this, and you know, check out your videos. You know. Uh, just give them the urge or, you know, motivation, you know, click that subscribe button, you know, that, you know, turn that red to a grayish tint, <laughs> I'm not really sure, but, you know, let, like, like I said, guys, don't be afraid, um, if it might get expensive, um, everyone has started out somewhere on YouTube, not with the best, you know, uh, gadgets and, you know, uh, products and, 
uh, you know, gear at their disposal, you know? Um, so, like, like I said, like, White Boy, one of the greatest gaming commentators on YouTube right now, uh, he didn't have the best gear when he first started out. He, he had a video camera, and, well, you know, like, it's what he had, you know? But he still, you know, like, that love of video games, you know, pushed him to upload his YouTube channel, or videos, and create his channel, and he expanded from there. Um, you know, he's a goofy guy, which everyone loves, uh, and, you know, he loves Call of Duty, like most of us probably watching this video right now. But, uh, other than that, um, another thing besides, you know, your gear and your recording gear, um, you gotta know the basics to, uh, video editing. Uh, for video comment or gaming commentaries, you do not really know, need to know that much. If anything, just, you know, splitting clips, fading audio in and out, or audio or video in and out. And basically, you know, you can find, probably find intro templates, or at least, you know, pay someone to make you an intro, or, you know, try to learn uh, Cinema 4D or After Effects. Um, basically, learn the basics, guys. Um, I'm not sure if you guys want to, like, if you guys are wondering what I use to video edit my videos, like the Sony Vegas Pro 13. Um, if you guys are looking for editing, uh, video editing uh, software, um, you can find some cracks on YouTube. Uh, hint, hint, you should definitely do that, but yeah, I use a uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13, um, I learned the basics off, you know, just looking up on YouTube, like, how to use a uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13, or the basics for, you know, beginners, or, you know, stuff like that. Um, if you guys need some help, I will teach you what I know, uh, I'll probably put another video, probably download some kind of program to record, uh, what's going on on my PC, my screen, and display. But, uh, yeah, you don't, like, for commentaries, you don't really need to know that much for editing, you know? Um, unless you want to get into montages, um, a program you'd want to consider getting into, like, you know, it's, like, really sick montages, you gotta really consider, uh, downloading and installing After Effects. I have no knowledge behind it, um, so, you should really definitely, you know, learn how to properly, uh, use your video editing software. If you're a beginner, you can also use, like, stuff like, uh, Windows Movie Maker, which is a default movie maker, which is uh, pre-installed for, I'm pretty sure, every Windows computer. Um, I personally never used it. Um, I first thing I used was Sony Vegas, so like, basically, it didn't seem too hard for me, but if you're someone who struggles and, you know, uh, using programs, um, I would highly recommend, you know, starting out slow, or small, I guess you can say, and then working yourself up to, like, something more advanced or professional, I guess you can say, and... Seriously, guys, utilize YouTube as much as you can. Um, you can actually learn a lot. Um, there's plenty of people with uh, how to do it yourself videos or how to videos, which really helped me a lot, especially on uh, you know creating the videos you guys see today. You know, like a little overlay of my videos, an intro, uh, fading in and out, adding background music, all this kind of stuff, which makes my quality videos a lot better and look a lot smoother. Um, but if you are, um, you know. It, like using a professional uh, video editing software like Sony Vegas, definitely learn uh, or master your rendering settings and also what you can do to adjust your display like uh, sharpening, uh, color corrections, and stuff like that. Uh, so if you guys want to see a video like that explaining like everything I use for my Sony Vegas setup and rendering settings, um, leave a comment or a like. Uh, I'll gladly make a video for you guys if you want to check that out. So yeah. Um, another thing, guys, when it comes to becoming a gaming commentator, um, I would highly recommend you get a solid mic to record your voice. I'm currently using this Blue Snowball, um, but other than, like, I, I'm not referring back to gear-wise, but definitely try to get comfortable um, talking to a mic. Um, you don't want to sound like you have a bad tone like this or talk about it like that. You want, you know, you want to add a little emphasis to your to your voice, you know, a little emotion, you know, try to bond with your your viewers and your subscribers. Um, make them feel comfortable. Uh, understand that uh, it's not easy at first, cause I remember my first very first commentary, I was always just mumbling with like, "Hey guys, I'm Anthony." You gotta get comfortable with the mic. Yes, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm actually just talking to a uh, an object, a microphone. But uh, you have to get comfortable talking to a mic. Um, it's gonna feel really weird at first. I'm gonna say that, but 
get comfortable. Something that encouraged me to help get better was, you know, uh, practicing a lot and also dual commentaries. Dual commentaries help you out, help you out a lot because you're not talking to yourself, you're talking to a friend or at least, you know, someone else, like an actual living thing. But I'm going to end it here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember like, comment, subscribe. Wanna check me out on Twitter? Is that my suppressor? Uh, link to my last video will add attention to the left. If you want to see a video of me getting further in depth with what I'm talking about in this video, leave a comment. I'll gladly make a video for you guys, like especially when it comes to like video editing, or you know, I'll probably try to like come up with a video to you know how to get comfortable commentating or talking to the mic. So yeah, leave a comment, guys. I'd love to help you guys out for you trying to get started on YouTube. So alright, guys, I'm out.